How's it going, Yankee fans? My name is Alex. I'm the co-host here, Ryan Garcia. And today we want to discuss Oswaldo Gobrado, who has absolutely been a spark for this team so far. You know, had the error the other night running, running into Marvin Gonzalez, but, you know, just a rookie moment. And ultimately, I'm willing to look past that because he made an impact yesterday against the Mets. I want to discuss if he can actually make an impact during the postseason, the playoffs. Where can he feature? Is there a role for him on this team? Um, but Ryan, I'm, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Um, and how are you doing today, my friend? I'm doing well. The Yankees finally get kind of this big series win that they're looking for. It comes in the sweep of a very good Mets team. I talked about this um, after uh, the Blue Jays series where, you know, I was discussing how good that Mets team is. You know, they're a quality major league team. The Yankees go and they sweep them at, um, you know, in the Bronx. It's a big win. Those are two big wins for them. And Cabrera made a bunch of key defensive plays. You know, who knows how that uh, inning goes if uh, Cabrera doesn't throw out Beatty in that inning to end that inning. Who knows if, you know, something goes wrong. There's a home run given up, a double, whatever it may be. Marte has great speed at first base. I don't doubt that he would have been able to go first to home on a double, especially with how deep left and right center field are. Um, so, you know, offensively, has he hit very well? Not necessarily. Um, are we looking for him to hit better? Absolutely. But is the defense great? Yes. Five defensive runs saved in right field already. Already has defensive runs saved at shortstop despite paying, playing only 18 innings there. He has six defensive runs saved in under, thir- you know, in, in a ridiculously small sample size. People, you know, defensive runs saved is a stat that you get a lot of as you play the position more or as you play on the field more. And this is a guy who's already putting up remarkable defensive numbers uh, across the board. Uh, at his positions so you know this is a guy who just started playing the outfield and is immediately one of the better defensive outfielders in baseball according to defensive run saved he's ninth in defensive run saved the right field in all of baseball amongst all outfielders that's incredible it's remarkable he has more than guys like will myers or joey gallo or uh you know ramon loriano some of the better defenders at the position he's a great great player defensively i know that the hitting is again an issue right now but cabrera is a guy to me that at least gives you that defensive value that you're looking for um, has a good arm, makes good decisions. Yes, he had that blunder uh, at second base, but for the most part, every single position he's played, he's done an excellent standout, absolutely phenomenal job of those positions. And the defensive metrics agree, the eye test agrees. He's a good athletic kid. Hopefully he can start pulling some of his balls a little bit more so that he can start putting some balls in the seats uh, because we know he has good pull side power. But on the defensive, he's holding it down. He just needs to figure it out on the offensive side of things. Yeah, and look, I mean, what is he, five, six games into his professional career at the at the top level? I'm not surprised he's having a couple of issues, you know, getting getting used to MLB pitching and just figuring out Yankee Stadium in general. Um, it takes years. It, some, sometimes, you know, veterans can't even figure it out. Most of the times they can't. Look at Joey Gallo, you know, uh, historically a very good player, then comes to the Yankee Stadium and just cannot play for this team. Being a Yankee is not easy. Oswaldo Cabrera showed up day one and provided elite-level defense at multiple positions. You know, you don't find that very often. This is a utility man. Um, this is like DJ LeMahieu if he could play outfield defensively, which is like very, very hard to come by and why he is actually so valuable right now because, you know, if his offense can get going, as you did mention, he's going to be an asset, you know, not just for the rest of this regular season but come the playoffs. Do you think there's a spot for him on the, on the playoff roster? Because, you know, that's kind of the, the argument is like, is he good enough? Does he have enough value, especially when you consider the fact they have Matt Carpenter, um, Harrison Bader coming back, a couple of guys that will be impact players, you know, will take up roster spots. But does Cabrera, do you think, have a shot at making an impact on the playoffs? Um, well, it depends on how he hits, definitely, in terms of what his role will be. But if the guy's playing well, uh, you know, even if he doesn't hit that much, he's at least going to have a role as a defensive guy in October. I think he provides more speed. or not. I think. I know he provides more speed than Marwin Gonzalez. So uh, I have a guy who's at least faster than uh, what I currently have with Marwin. So that gives him at least a, a leg up over Marwin. Neither of the guys are hitting right now. So it's not like we're having a conversation about, you know, can – you know, is Cabrera going to hit as much as Gonzalez? You know, Gonzalez isn't doing much for you at the plate. So I think he definitely has a role on the October roster, at least as a UTL guy coming in late game substitution uh, to be a defensive replacement. Uh, you know, if he starts hitting, we could maybe, you could make a good case. He should start at shortstop uh, because of the defensive value he's giving you already. Um, you know, again, it comes down to just, can the guy, make the can, can he, ultimately go out there and give you good at bats and get his OPS up a little bit. Can he do that? Yes or no. And if it's yes, he's going to start. If no, he'll be a bench player, but I do think he's going to make the October roster. He just provides a little too much value for me to imagine Marwin getting the shot over him. Yeah. I mean, look, Marwin and I've been reading some comments yesterday. Uh, we definitely, Laid into Marwin a little bit just because he has not been good offensively. 
Um, and, and the argument is like, he, he's capable of doing some offensive stuff when he's getting at bats, when he's consistently playing, but when the hell is Marwin Gonzalez going to be consistently playing on this team for the rest of the year? You know what I mean? He's not going to be an everyday player. He's not going to get a week's worth of games unless the Yankees are absolutely decimated by injury, which right now they have most of their injuries kind of happening in the bullpen. Um, so it's, you know, you're looking at Scott Efros, you're looking at Clay Holmes, uh, you're looking at, you know, Miguel Castro. Um, there's guys that are dealing with stuff in that end, but uh, the the team in general, they're getting Stanton back tomorrow. I've 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 seen so that's a really good sign as well. But you know when you're looking at Marwin Gonzalez, he's not a guy that's going to get three, four, five games of consecutive play. So you know we have we been hard on him, yes, but mainly because the argument that like give him more time and he'll start hitting. There is no time to give him. You know what I mean? So we're, he's a spot starter in case you desperately need to rest guys. You know whatever mitigate fatigue, and he just can't bat unless he has a week or two worth of of plate appearances. Um, to start seeing the ball. And I understand that, you know, I, I'm not, I'm giving him the, the benefit of the doubt that maybe he would be a solid offensive piece if they gave him those reps, but we just have better players at the moment. And, um, you know, obviously they're, they're not going to replace Ben Attendee or judge or even Cabrera at this point with Marwin Cabrera's in my opinion, should be playing right field. Um, you know, he came in and made an instant impact. Yes. He hasn't been hitting exactly how we'd want him to, um, but he had a hit yesterday. He had a run in an RBI. He had a walk. He's been working some really nice counts lately. I know uh, that's something that, Ryan, you probably love, seeing him go, oh, too early in the count and then somehow work in a walk. That's veteran-level stuff. You know what I mean? That's patience. That's seeing the ball extremely well. You know, how how inspiring is that for you to see Cabrera already showing that patience um, as a rookie six games in, seven games into his professional career and already, you know, working counts against some of the best pitchers in baseball? Yeah, so uh, Oswaldo Cabrera is a guy who didn't chase necessarily too much at the AAA level. Uh, when he came up, he started having some chase issues. But yesterday was a good sign because he was swinging at strikes, not getting to, um, you know, he, he was swinging at strikes, not jumping uh, on pitches that weren't in the zone. We saw, again, that Taiwan Walker at bat ended up being pivotal for the Yankees because they needed every one run they could get. Uh, but if you look at how Cabrera handles himself at the plate, the real issue for him right now is 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 more so you need Cabrera to start getting – generating that hard contact you know you need him to start pulling you need him to start getting some more extra base hits you know the ball he's a guy who has good power so you're not really concerned about can he do it it's just a matter of will he do it um i know change ups especially down the way have kind of presented a little bit of an issue uh he kind of gets fooled on those but those are some splitters that walker was throwing that he kind of spat on so you know hopefully we can see a little bit more of a patient version of Oswaldo Cabrera the one we saw in AAA and as he finds his swing as he finds himself in the strike zone starts slugging a little bit um and and gets that I'm looking for like an OPS of like somewhere around 700 if you can give me give me something like that I'm very very happy with those results um so you know ultimately I know that he's a guy who can hit I know he's a guy who's gonna have good at bats I know he's a guy who can eventually do these things is there a chance he doesn't yes there's a chance there's a chance with every rookie that they don't pan out they don't do what they're supposed to do uh but am I confident in it yes yeah man I mean look if Cabrera can uh make this impact um this is going to be big for the Yankees moving forward you know if they do have any injuries that hit right before you can trust him to play above average defense in multiple spots come the postseason we'll see what happens you know we'll see if that role maintains itself we'll see if Carpenter comes back we'll see if Bader comes back and something like we don't really need him DJ LeMahieu is healthy he's hitting um you know we'll see how this goes this will be an interesting one in the next couple of weeks if he starts hitting and gets hot with his bat we're going to see him on the playoff roster. And I think that's, that's kind of what you're saying as well as the offense will be the dictating factor um, of that. But you know, we have some time, you have a couple of weeks, he's getting everyday work at this point. So hopefully he can continue to grow and develop um, and show that consistency that we are waiting for right now. But my friends, I'd love to hear your perspectives as well in the, in the YouTube comments, let us know what your thoughts are on Oswaldo Cabrera. Do you think that he can be a playoff caliber player for this team and make an impact in some way? Um, always happy to hear your narratives and make sure to leave us a voicemail at 631-762-3518. It's on the top right of the graphics on YouTube. So appreciate your words and, uh, and opinions as always. Make sure to like and subscribe below. And we'll catch you guys on the next Fireside Yankees episode.